often when we talk about diversity, we talk and we think about race and ethnicity. We think about gender and we think about sexual orientation, right? Those are kind of the three big work streams or buckets that we think about with diversity. And often disability is left out of the conversation. What's interesting is when we start to look at the numbers of disability, it actually is the largest minority group. So it needs to be included as part of the diversity conversation. It also connects and intersects with every lens of diversity, whether it be, you can be any race, any gender, any sexual orientation, to your point, any age. The disability can affect you. You can be born with a disability. You can acquire one at some point in your life, or you can be taking care of somebody with a disability. So disability doesn't discriminate. It affects us all. And so as we build out diversity programs, when we leave disability out of the conversation, we're not having a full diversity conversation. And so some of the ways that we can amplify disability in diversity conversations are around A, making sure that our internal HR and leadership thinks about goals and around disability. Like that's part of how we're thinking about the entire talent life cycle. How do we recruit people with disabilities? How do we engage them? And how do we take seriously their exit interviews as we go forward? How do we actually measure it? Because if we don't measure it, we're not really counting it. So we don't know what our employee population looks like. So there's an accountability piece to it. And then how are we staffing in terms and training our teams internally around disability and disability awareness and accessibility? 